that our list of rooms is actually being populated from Firebase. Now comes the hard part. Sync each room's messages separately. How are we syncing the messages right now? Where is that happening? Where are we syncing the messages? It's in an array. What component? Messageless is not actually where, it, where we're syncing the state. It's getting passed down there as a prop. It's in chat, right. Right, here we go. Here's where we're syncing state. And we're syncing it with messages slash general. So really, we want it to be messages slash whatever room we're in, right? Does chat know which room we're in? Let's look in our React Dev tools. Let's look at chat. Yeah, chat's already getting the room, right? Oh, this should be easy. Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. So let's just change this to a template literal. Instead of saying messages slash general, let's say messages slash, yeah. So this.props.room.name. Get it? By the way, who got this working? Forgot to ask. Nobody? Okay, you tried? No, Troy did. Troy did? Right, yeah. I know who got it working in the morning. <laughs> Had three, I think, in the morning. You gonna take that crap from them? You gotta, you gotta do awesome on tonight's homework. Don't, don't let them get away with that. Those, those cocky morning classes. No. no, they're great, but you're great too. Okay, here we go. So, you follow so far? Follow why we're doing this? Is that big enough, by the way? Okay, <laughs> I'm looking at you because you're the one who always asks me to make it bigger. Okay, I always keep it one notch larger in the afternoon. Okay, why do you sit in the back row? Oh, okay. Okay, anyway, um, that's, that's none too big, though. That's a good size. Um, okay, so you see what we're doing so far? Just, just make that a variable. Just make the endpoint that we're syncing with a variable. Piece of cake. So now we're in S3 afternoon. So any messages I type here should go there. Hey there. There's messages. S3 afternoon. Cool. Totally worked. So let's change rooms. Let's go to random. LOLOL. Hashtag random. Hmm. It still says hey there. Where? LOL. That went in S3 afternoon. What? What? But I said, but the room changed. What's, what's the problem? What? What'd you say? Okay, I, 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 I genuinely didn't hear you. I wasn't like questioning you like, what? What did you say? No, I, did, I, I honestly didn't hear you. <laughs> yeah, but why? The room changed. So why didn't that change? Look at it for just a moment. See if you can tell me why it didn't change. Why it didn't work. I'm not syncing again, is that what you said? Why not? So it posted the message, posted the message which ended up in chat. Um, chat's where I am. Uh, the, so posting the message, never mind that. The room... Yeah. So why didn't this work? I'm, only, I'm calling sync state in component did mount, which only runs when, the f when this is first loaded, when chat is first rendered. So sure, the prop changed, the room name changed, but it didn't, ru it didn't ever run this line of code again. Because that's in component did mount. So sync state had already been run. Sync state didn't get run again with the new value. So yeah, component did mount luckily is not the only lifecycle method in town. If you remember, we talked about the lifecycle methods yesterday. Let's get back to that. State and lifecycle, detailed component API reference. Here's where it talks about it. 
remember we found this diagram. So when it first mounts, it runs the constructor, it runs render, then it runs component did mount. And then it never runs it again, unless that component actually gets unloaded and reloaded. But every time you get new props or new state, it reruns render and then runs component did update. So component did update will run every time your props change. And when we change rooms, what's happening? This prop is changing. So if we want sync state to run again every time we run, every time we change props, we want component did update. Component did update. Let's see here. Eh, wouldn't you know it, that links right to the documentation. So it receives three arguments. It's invoked immediately after updating occurs. It is not called for the initial render, so we're still going to need component did mount there. So we get the previous props, the previous state, and a snapshot. Um, I don't think we need the previous state of the snapshot. Sometimes you'll see people do this. Um, if they just want to kind of note to themselves that these arguments are being passed in, but they're not going to use them, they just prefix the name with an underscore. That's just like a note to themselves. Remember, these are here, but we're not using them. So instead of just taking them out of the list, I'll just put underscores there. But the previous props might be useful. So remember, this runs right after the props have changed. So they've already changed. So this.props would be the new props. Previous props would be the old one. So the prop that we're looking to have changed is this.props.room, right? So before we run sync state again, we could double check just to make sure it's actually changed. Let's do that. If um, previous props dot room dot name is not equal to this dot props dot room dot name, uh, I didn't mean to have that curly brace there. So if it actually changed, if the room name actually changed, then we run or want to run sync state again, right? So instead of copying and pasting this, I'm going to make a new method for it. So let's make a new method called um, sync messages. Seems good. Sync messages. And that'll just do this. So I'll just move my sync state in there. And then from component did mount, I'll call this dot sync messages. And inside component did update, I'll call this dot sync messages. Right? So now I sync messages when the component first mounts. That'll do it with whatever the, pr the room name was at that time. Then every time I change rooms, the props will update. It'll call component did update. It'll see if the previous props room is the same as the new props room. If they're not the same, we'll call sync messages again. And then this should be different, and it'll start syncing with a different endpoint. There we go. We fixed it. Let's try it out. All right. So here's random. LOL. So hashtag random. Cool. Snails. Like slugs with shells. Cool. Uh, let's go back to random. Like slugs with shell. What? What's going on here? Here's random. Like slugs with shells. Here's snails. Like slugs with shells. Okay. Uh, what? There's a what in random, and there's a what in snails. What's going on, Andrew? I never stopped syncing. Yeah, I started syncing with the new room, but I never stopped syncing with the old room, did I? We know how to stop syncing, though. Remove binding. So, in sync messages, 
how about before we start syncing with the new one, we say if this dot messages ref base dot remove binding this messages ref. So stop syncing with the old room before we start syncing with the new. Now let's try this. Let's just get rid of this nonsense. All right. Snail talk only. Hashtag random, hashtag YOLO. Snails, random. Snails, random. We did it. Can I what? I have messages in rooms. Is that what you're asking? Random and snails. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Random and snails. We did it. So a couple tricky things there. The main new thing we used was a component did update for the first time. So component did mount runs right after render is run the first time shortly after the constructor. Component did update runs every time your props or state change. And it's not too uncommon that you'll want to do something because a prop changed. So keep this in mind. It's a good little trick. So sync each room's messages separately. So now we really have multiple rooms. They're not just for decoration. I actually have little conversations with myself. <laughs> <laughs>